Hello everyone. Let's go with one important property of closure of a subset of a topological space. In our previous video, we have discussed what is closure and how to find a closure of subset of a topological space. As we know, closure of a set, say capital A, of a topological space capital X, then its closure will be, that is A closure will be the intersection of all closed set in X containing A. Based on this definition, we have very important property for closure. We discuss that in this video. Let X be a topological space and A be the subset of X. Then A will always the subset of A bar and A bar is a closed set in capital X, which is the first property we are discussing here. If B is a closed set in capital X containing A, then A bar will be the subset of B. That is, A bar is the smallest closed set containing A. And the third property we need to discuss is A is closed in X if and only if A equal to A bar. Let's prove this proof. First one, we need to prove A is the subset of A bar. So, to prove this, we use the basic definition. For this, let us consider, let us consider the family, say, F lambda provided this lambda belongs to index set, be the set of all closed sets in capital X containing A. Then, by definition, Closure of A is nothing but intersection of all closed sets containing A. See here, we have taken F lambda be the set of all closed sets containing A. So, we need intersection of this. It will give the closure, right? So, since A is the subset of F lambda, for each lambda belongs to index set, A can be written as A be the subset of intersection of F lambda where lambda belongs to index set. Because this is true for each lambda, for each lambda is there, so we can consider intersection also. This implies A be the subset of intersection of F lambda is nothing but a bar. So, this is the closure of A. This is by the definition of closure of A. Closure of A is nothing but intersection of F lambda provided this F lambda is the closed set. Closed set in capital X containing A. So, we call this as closure of A. Therefore, A is the subset of A bar which is the first property we needed. Let's go with the second property. We need to prove is, suppose B be any closed set in capital X containing A, then B will be the greater one. That is, A bar is the smallest closed set containing A. Let's prove this again. F lambda provided a lambda belongs to index set is a family of closed set in capital X and we know that the arbitrary intersection of closed sets in X is always closed set. 
therefore if this family is closed then its intersection that is intersection of f lambda is closed itself intersection of f lambda is nothing but a bar so a bar is that is closure of a is closed set in x so we have proved one part that is a bar is the closed set a bar is the closed set now we need a smallest closed set it is so let's go with this let's consider one more closed set b which is also containing a so for this let b be a closed set in x containing a then b can be written as sum of lambda for some lambda belongs to index set as we know intersection of f lambda where lambda belongs to index set is always the subset of f lambda this is for each lambda belongs to index set therefore intersection of f lambda where lambda belongs to index set is the subset of the value of f lambda is b but intersection of f lambda is nothing but a bar so a bar be the subset of b which proves that which proves that a bar is the smallest one though b is a closed set in capital x containing a a bar is a subset of b we got so which implies a bar is the smallest closed set containing a this is the second part let's move towards the third one the third condition says that a is closed in x if and only if a equal to a bar so here if and only if condition is there so we need to prove uh, in the first part as need to take a is a closed in x as hypothesis need to prove a equal to a bar in the second half we need to take uh, a equal to a bar as hypothesis need to prove a is closed in x okay let's prove one by one let let a be a closed set x since a is the subset of a which is always true that is a is a closed set containing a okay a is the meaning of this a is a closed set containing a but we know that a bar is the smallest closed set containing a which implies which implies a bar is the subset of a this we have proved in our last part right so a bar is the smallest closed set containing a so a bar the subset of a again by part 1 first part we have a is the subset of a bar which we have proved right see here a is the subset of a bar which we have proved in our first part combining these two this is uh, let it be equation 1 let it be equation 2 equation 1 and 2 implies a equal to a bar hence if a is closed set then a equal to a bar okay let's prove with the converse part for the converse part the hypothesis is a equal to a bar we need to prove a is closed by part 1 we know that 
a bar is a closed set in the second part also we have proved this therefore since a equal to a bar here a bar is closed which implies a is closed set right so therefore if a equal to a bar then a is a closed set this is the proof for the given theorem. I will come with one more property in my next video.